It is time for me to pay penance for my past mistakes. I played this game for the first time completely blind and had no idea that there would be consequences for my actions. In this video, I hereby swear that I will learn how to act and not to kill. And also, apparently I have to read, which means I have to do character voices. Undertale pacifist, here we go. Name the fallen human. I've just got to go with purple. I'm back, our good friend Flowey. I know who you are. You're new to the underground, aren't you? Shut up, Flowey. You're lucky that I have no enemies right now or I would rip you out, take your roots, tear them out, drop them in some Diet Coke, and then blend you like the little piece of lettuce you are. Nope, 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 nope. Uh, Toriel, help me! Yeah! Oh my God, look how nice this person is. Sure want to keep them alive. Look at their shirt. Are they just wearing a, a one piece? All I have to do is read. Oh, okay, I killed this thing. This is how I learned how to act. When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. You are in a fight, strike a friendly conversation. Stall for time, I will come to resolve the conflict. See, all I had to do was read one word. Hi, dummy. So I don't fight, I'm supposed to act. I'm gonna talk with him. It's a dummy, it doesn't talk. All right, ooh, but Toriel's happy with me. Oh, it was that easy this entire time. Oh no, did I mercy it? Uh, I'm gonna compliment the frog. It's a frog, it can't talk. Toriel, I did it, but I get no XP. Hi, frog. Oh, complimenting it. I'm gonna check it. That did nothing. Let me compliment it again. It was flattered. Blushes deeply. Whoa, 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 whoa. I just complimented what you, why are you attacking me? I feel like threatening is not a pacifist thing. I'm just gonna keep complimenting it. Do I mercy? Let's try and mercy it. Oh. Ooh, it says take one, a piece of candy. I took one piece of candy. I'm not gonna take any more. I am a good child and a wonderful human. Oh, Wimson, okay. I don't wanna terrorize. Can I click terrorize? I'm afraid to terrorize it. Halfway through my first cons consolation, it bursts into tears and runs away. Oh, frog it. I think I can just spare this one. No, maybe I have to compliment and then spare. Didn't understand, but it was flatter. Dodge the frog, now I mercy. There's a pattern to this and I got gold. What do I do against this thing? Flirt with the jelly hole? You wiggle your hips and it wiggles back. What a meaningful. Shakira, Shakira. Oh baby, won't you? Sorry, I'm so sorry. I, let me go please. <laughs> I just had to flirt with it. Oh, it's them. I murdered them last time. Here comes Naps to block. I gotta act. I'm gonna cheer them on. Oh, isn't this the one that I took damage to last time? Oh, oh my God, did you see that movement? Okay, now I'm gonna flirt with them. Really not feeling up to it right now, sorry. Oh, okay, does that mean I've gotta tell them nice things? I'm gonna cheer them on again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, keep them. Oh, oh, balls, oh, ball, oh, ball, oh, balls, oh, balls, ah, ah, mercy. I, I couldn't do it. I must have to keep cheering them. I don't want to threaten them. Maybe I do threaten them. No, cheer one more time. It wants to show you something. Let me try. I call it Dapper Blook. That's a nice hat. I do like it. Eagerly awaits my response. Well, now I have to cheer them on again. I did it! I have no enemies. <laughs> I usually come to the ruins because there's nobody around. But today I met somebody nice. I'll get out of your way. You better be proud of me in the comments. Spider bake sale, all proceeds go to real spiders. How do I buy? Leave seven G's in the web? Sure. Some spiders crawled down and gave me a donut. Leave 18 G's. I don't have 18 G's. How do I get 18 G's? I have heard you're um, quite merciful for a human. Surely you know now that a monster wears a yellow name when you can spare it? Very helpful. Listen, I understand it now. If I was watching me play this game for the first time, walking past these, I too would be writing the angriest comment ever. <laughs> that thing is scary. I don't want to pick on it. No, it's, no, I don't want to pick on it. Finally, someone gets me. Oh, looks gnashes its teeth. I don't want to pick on him. Finally, someone gets it. Do I flee from this? I don't know the difference between, let me try sparing it. Five gold? Whoa, what was that? What was that? I saw something to the left there. My eyes will not be playing tricks on me. It was yellow. I thought it was flowy for a second, but I think I'm wrong. Yo, he did, he just did, bro just did the worm. I wanna talk to this guy. 
I can do it too. Doesn't have a care in the world. All right, we'll spare it. I have 18 gold. Yes. Crawled down and gave you a jug. How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? Who did this to you? You will get an apology. I should not have left you alone for so long. It was irresponsible to try and surprise you like this. Pie! All right, Toriel. Do you smell that surprise? It's a butterscotch cinnamon pie. I thought we must celebrate your arrival. See, you can't be mad at me for thinking that this is so suspicious though, right? Maybe just my presuppositions as a human are what's causing me to think this, where I automatically think that every single nice favor is suspicious. That was too philosophical for me. I'm just gonna go eat the pie. All right, I'm asleep and then wake up to some pie. Oh, it's there! You found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. Where's Toriel at? I'm not gonna go down to the basement because I'm not allowed. What is it? When can I go home? This is your home now. How to exit the ruins. All right, we're going down. Toriel, I'm here. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I am going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. Nope! I am a good child and I will go forward. This time I just can't kill Toriel and then I think the game completely changes. It's time. Here we go. Toriel blocks the way. I gotta act. I think I just gotta talk with her. You couldn't think of any conversation topics. Oh. Oh, balls. Oh, why is that so long? You tried to think of something to say again, but... Oh, oh. The balls! Okay, talk. Ironically, talking does not seem to be the solution to this situation. Then what do I do? I messed it up again! I'm not supposed to go up! You're gonna go down on this one! Oh, maybe I spare. That wasn't it! It was not spare! It was not spare! It was not spare! Do I flee? Oh. Man! Oh! I'm just gonna hit spare each time this time. So these hug like right here, and I'm good. It did a lot of damage, actually. Keep sparing, keep sparing. Oh my god, this is hard. Oh, Toriel, stop it! I'm friendly! I don't get levels. I don't get stronger. Is this the actual hard mode? I must be playing the hardest difficulty there is. All right, I'm just gonna spare everything. That's the fourth spare. These must be homing. I gotta eat something. The pie, I'm gonna eat the pie. It maxed out. Let's go. I'm sparing you, Toriel. What are you doing? Sparing you, I just said it. Oh my God. I'm just gonna have to go for it. Attack or run away? No. What are you proving? I'm proving to you that I'm strong enough. Wait, well, she's not attacking me anymore. Fight me or leave. Toriel, I am strong enough to go. Toriel stopped attacking me. She must know that I'm low HP. Toriel, please. I'm gonna make everybody my friend. I know you wanna go home, but please go upstairs now. I promise I'll take good care of you here. Toriel, I wanna go. I know we don't have much, but you can have a good life here. Why are you making this so difficult? Because if I stay here, there's gonna be a lot of people I don't get to meet. Please go upstairs. I'm not gonna do it. Pathetic, is it not? I cannot even save a single child. You would just be unhappy trapped down here. The ruins are very small once you get used to them. I would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I will put them aside. I did it! And it filled me with determination. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you, however, when you leave, please do not come back. She hugged me. Goodbye, my child. Wait, why can't I come back though? I guess she doesn't want to see me dead. Oh, no! You think you're really smart, don't you? In this world, it's kill or be killed. So you were able to play by your own rules. You spared the life of a single person. Hehehehe. <laughs> I bet you feel really great. You didn't kill anybody this time. But what will you do if you meet a relentless killer? You'll die and you'll die and you'll die until you tire of trying. What will you do then? Will you kill out of frustration? Or will you give up? No! It's telling me that I'm gonna die a lot, isn't it? This must be the true hard mode. Let me inherit the power to control. I am the prince of this world's future. Don't worry, my little monarch. My plan isn't regicide. This is so much more interesting. Can someone kill this flower and put it in some Dr. Pepper till it shrivels up? This is all different! Flower didn't say that last time. Undertale. It's been a little bit. I don't really remember everything, but I'm just assuming that a lot's gonna be different. Who do I meet next? Hey, my boy Sans! 
What's up? You and me are gonna be best friends. Or is this the one where he kills me? I'm Sans the Skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on the watch for humans right now. Sup, bro? I'm telling you now, I'm doing the voice. You know what's up, brother? It's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles. I will attend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little, little more backbone into it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Listen, if I don't do the voices, I will not be able to understand what they're saying. I just, the words just go in. Ah. Oh, Snow Drake flutters forth. Laugh. Before it says anything funny. Ah, oh, what are you laughing at? I was laughing at your face. Sorry. I'm going to tell it a joke. You make a bad ice pun. Ha ha ha. Nice. Okay, now can I spare it? No. Chill out, it said. Now I laugh. You laugh at Snow Drake's pun. See? La oh, I, I should have. I gotta read what they say. 12 gold. I'm rich. Absolutely no moving. What? I'm standing really still right now. Oh, man. Doggo blocks the way. Now, what do I gotta do with this thing? Do I pet him? It's too suspicious of your movements. Don't move an inch. Pet again. I pet doggo. What? I've been pet, 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 pet. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna keep petting him. You pet doggo again. Where's that coming from? I just, I, okay, this is an easy fight. Bird, 30 gold. I am rich. Please take a piece of me and bring it very far away. I'm not gonna eat it this time. Okay, whoa, wait a minute. Listen, I have been friendly. Um, Roll around. You roll around in the dirt and snow. You smell like a weird puppy. Number two, Nuzzle Champs 98. Of course we are. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, my God. The dogs may want to re-smell you. Okay, okay, re-sniff me, re-sniff me. They sniff you again. After rolling in the dirt, you smell all right. Oh, are you a little puppy? Hey, hey, don't kill me, don't kill me. They think that you might be a lost puppy. I'm gonna pet them. You pet dog of me. Wow, pet by another pup. Well, don't leave me out. Oh, so I gotta pet the other one now. Oh my God, my brain is working at like 80 billion miles an hour. I pet the other one. What about me? Oh, wait, I just pet you. Balls. The dog's minds have been expanded. Can I spare now? Oh, this is awesome. Dogs can pet other dogs? A new world is open for us. Thanks, weird puppy. Why don't dogs pet other dogs? Aware of dog, please pet dog. Knowing that dog will never give up trying to make the perfect snow dog fills you with determination. What dog? I didn't see a dog. Where's the dog at? Oh, there's the dog. Is this the dog that I killed last time that everyone got mad at me for? Oh. I just gotta keep petting it. It's too far away to pet. You just pet the air. Beckon. I don't know what beckon means. You call the greater dog. It bounds towards you, flecking slobber into your face. Okay, now I pet it. Greater dog curls up in your lap and it is pet by you. It gets so comfortable it falls asleep. Z, 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 Z. Then it wakes up. It's so excited. Okay, now I'm probably play with it. It's patting the ground with its front paws. Okay, I'm going to play with it now. Make a snowball and throw it for the dog to fetch. It splats on the ground. Greater Dog picks up all the snow in the area and brings it to you. Now Dog is very tired. It rests his head. Okay, now I pet it again. I'm just going to pet it because it's resting its head on me. Okay, I'll pet. As you pet the dog, it sinks its entire weight into you. Your movement's slow, but you still haven't pet enough. Okay. <laughs> pet. You pet decisively. Pet capacity reaches 100%. The dog flops over with its legs hanging in the air. It's contented. Nice! And 40 gold. Oh, it's in the armor. That's, that makes more sense. <laughs> That's, took butthead to another meaning, bro. Welcome to Snowdoin. Snowden, Snowden. Hey, it's the dogs. Wait a minute. Wasn't this like super empty last time? Is it because I killed all these things? Phone call. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ring, ring. Hello. Can I speak to G? Wait a second. Is this the wrong number? Oh, it's the wrong number. The wrong number song. We're very, very sorry that we got it wrong. Oh, it's on the wrong number. The wrong number song. We're really, really sorry that we got it. Oh, it's getting cold. Hey, hey, hey. Papyrus, save me. I'm not going to attack you. Flirt? F flirting? So you finally reveal your ultimate feelings. Well, I'm a skeleton with very high standards. I can make spaghetti. Oh no, you're meeting all of my standards. I guess this means I have, I have to go on a date with you. Let's date later after I capture you, huh? Wait, why is this fight easy? Now I'm gonna flirt. Let's date later. I don't want to insult Papyrus. Is thinking about what to cook for his date. I'm gonna check Papyrus. 
20 attack, 20 defense. Likes to say, <laughs> I can't mercy yet. I'll try and spare. So you won't fight. Then let's see if you can handle my fabled blue attack. <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 whoa. You're blue now. That's my attack. <laughs> what does me being blue now have to do with it? Do I just, do I spare? I wonder what I should wear. Oh, on the date? I'm gonna keep sparing. What, I'm not thinking about the date then? Papyrus dabs MTT brand anime powder behind his ears. I'm gonna flirt again. Too busy fighting to flirt back. Okay, so then I just, don't make me use my special attack. I thought this was your special attack. Or was this your ultimate attack? Stop putting beauty yogurt behind your ear. What ears? Papyrus, you don't have ears. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Undyne will be really proud of me. Very soon I will use my special attack. Use it then. I don't think you have a special attack. Uh-oh, maybe you do. If you do, I'm screwed. Preparing a bone attack. What's a bone attack? This is your last chance. Okay, I just have to survive one more then. I'm almost done, I'm almost done. Just survive. Behold my special attack. It's a dog. The dog, <laughs> the dog's eating the bone. Yes. Hey, you stupid dog. Do you hear me? Stop munching on that bone. Hey, what are you doing? Come back here with my special attack. Oh, well, I'll just use a really good regular attack. Here's an absolutely normal attack. Oh, man. I have iframes. I have iframes. Uh-oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Oh, no, 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 no. Cool, dude. I had boobs. That's it? You can't defeat me? Did I do it? I can still see you shaking in your boots. Therefore, I, the great Papyrus, elect to grant you pity. I will spare you, human. Now's your chance to accept my mercy. Yes! Oh! Dude, I did it! Oh, I can't even stop someone as weak as you! Undyne's gonna be disappointed in me! I'll never join the Royal Guard! And my friend Quantity will remain stagnant! Let's be friends. Oh, do I have to go on a date with Papyrus now? Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and have that date. <laughs> why, why is he running like that? This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. Hey, subscribe to Purple Cliff. Watch this. Subscribe to Purple Cliff. What's up, Sans? What? Haven't you seen a guy with two jobs before? Fortunately, two jobs means twice as many legally required breaks. I'm going to Grillby's. Want to come? Sure, why not? Well, if you insist, I'll pry myself away from my work. Over here, I know a shortcut. Oh, whoa, whoa, what? I'm back in town. Hey Sans, weren't you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? Nah, I haven't had breakfast in at least half an hour. You must be thinking of, of brunch. Let's order, what do you want? A uh, burger. That sounds pretty good. Grillby, we'll have a double order of fries. Am I on a date with Sans? Am I just having a two time with these brothers? Do I get a free burger here? Those are fries, that's not a burger. Ketchup, yes. Bone appetit, you tip the ketchup. The cap falls off and all the ketchup in the bottle pours onto your food. Hey, forget about it. You can have mine. I'm not hungry anyways. Aw, is he just scratching his ass? Anyway, cool or not, your degree Papyrus tries real hard. Like how he keeps trying to be part of the Royal Guard. One day, he went to the house of the head of the Royal Guard and begged her to let him be in it. Of course, she shut the door on him because it was midnight. But the next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. It's a... Uh, Still a work in progress. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you something. Uh-oh, have you ever heard of a talking flower? Yes. What? So you know all about it? Oh, oh, the echo flower. Yeah, that's the one I was talking about. They're all over the marsh. Say something to them and they'll repeat it over and over. Well, Papyrus told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes when no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers things to him. Flattery, advice, encouragement, predictions. Weird, huh? Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. Lowey is trying to corrupt Papyrus? Oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you foot the bill? 10,000 Gs? I can't do that. Just kidding. Grillby, put it on my tab. What if I said yes? Would I have had to pay that? Bum, 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 bum. Oh, it's Papyrus. So you came back to have a date with me? Uh, no. You must be really serious about this. I'll have to take you someplace really special. If it's Grillby's, do not take me to Grillby's. Where is the place that Papyrus likes to spend a lot of time?
God dang it. <laughs> Why is the room on fire? Impressed, increase the height of my sink. Now I can fit more bones under it. Take a look-see. <laughs> it's the dog again. What? Catch that meddling canine. Curses. Sand, stop plaguing my life with incidental music. All right, I'm gonna go talk with Pappy Russ. Welcome to the scenic my house. Enjoy and take your time. That's my room. If you've finished looking around, we could go in and do whatever people do with they. Why is he making that face? Pappy Russ, I am a child. He has a race car bed. <laughs> of course he has a freaking race car bed. Hey, listen here, dude. I had a race car bed growing up. I'm not joking. And I would buy another one right now if I could find where to buy one from. Let me know. So, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? Yes, begin the date. I am very skeptical. Dating, start. What? Here we are on our date. I've actually never done this before, but don't worry, you can spell prepared without several letters for my name. I snagged an official dating rule book from the library. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see, step one, press the C on the keyboard for the dating hood. Wowee, I feel so informed. What is this? Did I just unlock something crazy? I think we're ready for step two. Step two, ask them on a date. Ahem, humid. Ah, the great Pappy Russ. <coughs> sure. <coughs> My throat hurts from doing his voice. Just let's get on with it. Put on nice clothes to show you care. What's Pappy Russ gonna put on? Wear clothing, that bandana around your head. You're wearing clothing right now. Not only that early, you were also wearing clothing. No, could it be you've been wanting to date me from the very beginning? Sure, why not? Date power? Don't think you've busted me yet. What is this music? I, the great Papyrus, never have been beaten at dating and never will. I can easily keep up with you. You see, I too can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes. Special clothes? What do you think of my secret style? I love it. No, a genuine compliment. The date power goes up. <laughs> However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. This date won't escalate any further unless you find my secret, but it won't happen. Move and inspect with Z. Don't ask why I went to the dick first. I was not trying that. Hat? Well then, you found my secret. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present for you. Oh, I, I didn't. Is it spaghetti? That's spaghetti. He has spaghetti under his hat. This is an artisan's work. Silken spaghetti, aged in an oaken cask, cooked by Master Chef Papyrus? What? There's no way this can go further. Eat it. You take a small bite. Your face reflexively scrunches up. The taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression. You must really love my cooking. And by extension, me. <laughs> okay, dude. Maybe even more than I do. Ugh. Urgh. Zooey mama. <laughs> Why did I just, what just happened? Human, it's so clear now. You're madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it has all been for my sake. I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you, I, Papyrus. Um, oh boy, is it hot in here or is it just me? Oh shoot, the human. I don't like you the way you like me romantically. We love an Aero King. I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought because you flirted with me, I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match your passion. But alas, I, the great Papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. A dark prison of passion. <laughs> no, that's what, what's wrong. I can't fail at anything. Human, I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep you cool by being your friend and act like never, this didn't happen. You know what? This didn't happen. Don't worry. Don't papyrus. Listen, I was just going along with it because you were wearing a cool dude shirt. Oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. <laughs> Dude, listen, okay. 
I walk in this room, you can just expect that this guy is... Where, where's the arrow flag? Is it behind the, the pirate one? Action figures of many sexy robots. <laughs> All right, wait, why is Sans room on fire? I'm going to Sans room next. Is it just the gates of hell? Door's locked. Okay. Okay, I think I can leave the town now. What's up, Sans? Let's hang out again sometime. All right. Oh! Oh! My bad. I just didn't... Oh! Okay, this time, surely I'm not going to get taken out by a rock. Woo! All right. This is where Undyne is. I get to meet a new friend. Hopefully Undyne is not as hard as she was before. I'll help you in any way you can. No, Papyrus, we just went on a date. I forgot this happens. Okay, it's time for me to run. Hey, listen here, Undyne. You don't need to... Oh, oh, Monster Kid's going to die. Oh, Monster Kid's not there. I thought Monster Kid got stabbed. Oh, Monster Kid was there. Did you see the way she was staring at you? That was awesome! I'm so jealous! What'd you do to get her attention? Haha, <laughs> come on. Let's go watch her beat up some bad guys. <laughs> okay, I'm never not gonna laugh at Monster Kid falling. Oh, I gotta meet some... Whoa, Aaron flexes in. You know what? I want some gold. I'm gonna flex. Ugh! Attack increases for you two? For him too? I didn't want that to happen. I didn't want that to happen. I did not want that to happen. I just wanted to, to I just wanted to flex with my bro. Ready for my next flex. Okay, I'll flex again then. You flex harder. They flex thrice as hard? Whoa, 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 whoa. What is this? Sweat? Don't t please tell me this is a sweat. All right, I'm gonna flex quadruples as hard. He flexes himself out of the room. <laughs> oh, Washua. A duck? I'm gonna touch it. You reach out and recoils. My bad. Yuck. What? Hey, chill soap. Ow! Go to a, a Yu-Gi-Oh convention. Chill out, bro. I'm gonna clean it. Oh, I want him to clean me. Green means clean. Oh, it heals. It heals me. Wait, wait, I can't get the heals. Okay, now that I'm clean, I'm gonna touch. A friendly pat. Fresh. Stay away from me. 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 Bro. Can I mercy? I can. I'm pretty sure this is where Undyne's gonna chase me. Yup. All right. Undyne. Hello. Run, 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 this is where Monster Kid gets stabbed. Hey, 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 Monster Kid's right there. Yeah, get him. His eye. Why would you do that? Did you see that? Undyne just touched me. I've never watched my face ever again. Man, are you unlucky. Bum, 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 bum. I can't do anything. Did he just, did Toby Fox just, it's not made by Toby Fox. Who made this game? Toby Fox? No, that's Undertale. No, that's Cal Kel. No, that's Superman. Who, who the hell made? <laughs> <laughs> the Northern Room hides a great treasure. What? I'm Googling. I'm, I, I don't care. It says neutral, up, right, neutral. Dude, look how smart I am. I found that out all on my own. What's this? It's a legendary artifact. Will you take it? Yes. You're carrying too many dogs. Dogs? What? How do I get rid of that? That's that's the dog from, from Papyrus. Oh! The dog stole the artifact. That's probably karma for Googling. Oh, take an umbrella. What happens if I give this thing the umbrella? Bing bong. Bum, 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 bum. I love this song. Dude, I honestly could. It's showing the, the music notes. Please take one. Can I take two? Oh, I'm taking two. Oh man, would sure suck if I... Oh, hey, Monster Kid. Hey, hey, oh. Stay under the umbrella, Monster Kid. You are not under the umbrella. Okay, whatever. Maybe they want to be wet. Just like your mom. <laughs> Oh, I think this is the moment that I have to fight Undyne the Undying. Friendship time! Surely this fight's not gonna be hard. Oh. Are you okay? Here, get up. 
Purple. Huh? That's a nice name. My name is... Who is that? Wait, who saved me? Okay, I'm gonna explore to the left. Because there's a lot of stuff here that I haven't seen. What is this? Knock, knock, knock. What, what is that? Okay, so that's giant fish scary place. Uh, uh oh. Temmy! Feed Temmy. Only wants the Temmy flakes. I don't have Temmy flakes. What the hell? Temmy vibrates intensely. Uh, uh, let me flex. No, muscles are not cute. Oh, I have to disagree. <laughs> yeah! Just the two of us, huh? He's back! Wait, did Temmy just die? Do I have to fight this thing now? I gotta fight Aaron! Okay, he flexes himself out of the room. And I got 60 gold. <laughs> what just happened? Is it undying time? Here we are. Big ass rock. I know it, Undyne. Time for us to become friends. Screw it. Why should I tell that story when you're about to die? <laughs> Let's see it. No more running away. Okay. I don't know how to beat Undyne, but I'm green now. Act. Uh, I'm going to challenge Undyne. Her attacks are too easy. The bullets get fat. Oh, it's this fight. I remember this. Um, maybe I don't challenge. Nothing happened. Not bad. Then how about this? Boom, 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 bam. <laughs> I'm gonna spare. For years we've been dreaming. Dude, you can't you can't beat me. I'm so good. Spare. Do I just keep sparing? Oh, oh, oh. Okay, wait, that's getting a little faster. I'm gonna keep sparing. I won't let you snatch it away from us. Okay, up, 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 left, right, down. Boom. Undyne flashes a menacing smile. Again. Enough warming up. Oh! Oh, what? That was fake! Flee? You can just run away from Undyne? Up. Oh. No, you cannot run away from Undyne. I wonder if that's how you do it, though. I'm gonna keep doing that. Mercy. Up. Down. Up. Down, down, up, down, up. My brain is moving at 10 billion miles an hour. Undyne, throw more attacks at me. Do it as fast as you can, because nobody's... Okay, I was going to say nobody's as fast as me, but that I'm, I'm getting distracted. Ah! Wait, what? Is Undyne not coming after me? Am I supposed to run forward and not back... Okay, listen, I was just practicing this fight, to be honest with you. Oh, I can just flee. Oh, this way, this way. Go, 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 go. You stay away. She's faster. Welcome. Oh, this doesn't feel like a good welcome. I'm being attacked by a monster. Come back here. Okay. Just keep fleeing. Keep fleeing. Ring it. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up, Babby Russ? Hey, listen, let's let's have a conversation right now. I'm not, you know, uh, running away from a royal guard. I was just thinking you, me, and Undyne should all hang out sometime. We're, we're kind of hanging out right now. I think you would make great pals. Let's meet up at her house later. At her house later. Where's her house? No, 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 no. Flee, just flee, just flee. Come back here, you little punk. <laughs> Hi, Sans. Oh, it's sleeping! I was a bait! Wait. I think I baited too. Stay away. Armor, so hot. But I can't give up. Yo, take, go take off the armor. Take off the armor. You're, you're by lot. Oh. Conveniently placed water. Here you go, friend. Oh, I'm supposed to do this. I just poured it on her. I thought I was going to give it to her to, like, drink. Do you need more water? I can go get more water. What happened? Are we friends now? We can be friends. I have no enemies! I have no enemies! What? Where did Undyne go? Undyne. Where's Undyne? Hey, isn't this where I called you? I have a photographic memory for phone calls. When are we gonna hang with Undyne? 
Do, do I have to go back to the Papyrus's place? Oh, this is all new. This is new! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay, I must be going to the right way. Today's monsters don't want to appreciate what makes puzzles great. Nowadays, puzzles are nothing but lasers and moving rocks. Bah! There's no art in that actiony, mindless schlock. I'm just time and base drivel. Just give me something that challenges the deepest reaches in my mind. You, you're young. You've still got hope. <laughs> Here, trash off in this block pushing puzzle. What block pushing puzzle? What are you doing? It. You're pushing it all wrong. Bob, forget it. This generation really is hopeless. I must be going in the right way. That was new. Wait, was that on Dine's house? This feels like a lot of extra work. I don't know if I'm doing this right. I'm gonna go check that house just in case. Because Pappy Russ gave me the phone call. And that makes me really suspicious. Moment of truth. Oh, are you ready to hang out with Undyne? This is Undyne's place. I'm such a gamer. I have a plan to make you two great friends. I'll hang out, sure. Okay, stand behind me. Psst. Make sure to give her this. She loves these. What is that, a bone? Is Undyne a dog? Oh, hi, Pappy Russ. Ready for your extra private one-on-one -on -one training? You bet I am. And I brought a friend. Hi, I don't think we've... <laughs> Why don't you two come in? We're friends! We're friends! Yes! My friend brought a gift for you on their own. Uh, thanks. I'll, uh, put it with the others. <laughs> nice. So, are we ready to start? Whoopsie doopsie j <laughs> I just remembered! I have to go to the bathroom! You two have fun! So why are you here? To rub your victory in my face? To humiliate me even further? Is that it? Nope. Then why are you here? Wait, I get it. You think that I'm going to be friends with you, huh? Right? Yeah. Really? How delightful. I accept. Oh. Let's frolic in the fields of friendship. Not? Why would I ever be friends with you? You weren't my house guest. I'd beat you up right now. You, you can't beat me up. You're the enemy of everyone's hopes and dreams. I'll never be your friend. Now, get out of my house. Dang, what a shame. I thought Undyne could be friends with you, but I guess I overstim... Over... What did that word say? She's just not up to the challenge. Challenge? He thinks I can't be friends with you? <laughs> what a joke. I thought I could make friends with a wimpy loser like you. I'll show him. Listen up, human. We're not just going to be friends. We're going to be besties i'll make you like me so much you won't be able to think of anyone else it's the perfect revenge do i have to date all these characters is this a dating simulator and i didn't know comfortable i'll get you something to drink what would you like uh don't get up you're the guest sit down and enjoy yourself you can use the spear soda Hot chocolate, tea box, blatantly correct choice. That one. Tea, huh? Coming right up. Blatantly correct choice. How is that the blatantly correct choice? Does it dine like tea? It'll take a moment for the water to boil. Get an electric kettle. It's all done. It's just gonna slip on the table. <laughs> Why'd you break your own table? <laughs> the window's broken too. Just drink it already. You take a sip of the tea, it's burning. But other than that, it's pretty good. Better than the spaghetti. It's pretty good, right? Nothing about the best for an absolutely precious friend. Besties, hey, you know, it's kind of strange you chose that tea. Golden flower tea. That's Asgore's favorite kind. Actually, now that I think about it, you kind of remind me of him. You're both total weenies. <laughs> sort of. Hey, I remember fighting Asgore, and that was the only thing that killed me. You know, I was a pretty hot-headed kid. Once, to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Asgore. Emphasis on tried. I couldn't land a single blow on him. And worse, the whole time he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me, do you want to know how to beat me? I said yes, and from then on he trained me. One day during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt bad, but he was beaming. I'd never seen someone more proud to get their butt kicked. Anyway, long story short, he kept training me. And now I'm the head of the Royal Guard. So I'm the one who gets to train dorks to fight. Like, uh, Papyrus. Aww. That's why she's training him. Because she was that dork. But to be honest, I don't know if I can ever let Papyrus into the Royal Guard. Don't tell him I said that. He's just, well, 
an idiot. <laughs> it's not that he's weak. He's actually pretty freaking tough. It's just that he's... He's too innocent and nice. I mean, look, he was supposed to capture you. I ended up being friends with you instead. I could never send him into battle. He get ripped into little smiling shreds. That's part of why I started teaching him how to cook, you know? Oh my god. So maybe he can do something else with his life. Uh, sorry I was talking for so long. You're out of tea, aren't you? I'll get you some more. Wait a second. Papyrus, his cooking lesson. He was supposed to have that right now! And if he's not here to have it, you'll have to have it for him! Uh-oh. What? <laughs> okay, what? That's right. Nothing has brought Papyrus and I closer than cooking, which means that if I give you his lesson, we'll become closer than you can ever imagine. Besties! Uh, hello? What? How did my neck just... They've got neck muscles. Let's start with the sauce. Tomatoes, carrot, and banana. Banana? Now pound them to dust with your fists. How will you pound? Strong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our hearts uniting against these healthy ingredients. Now it's my turn. Bam. <laughs> we'll just scrape this into a bowl later. But for now, this is why he's bad at making spaghetti. I just buy store brand because they're the cheapest. Just put them in the pot. Fiercely. Yeah, I'm into it. Now it's time to stir the pasta. Now we put the, sorry. As a general rule of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is. That's not how it works. Oh, press Z. Oh, I just pressed, I was pressing faster than an undying. The pot's destroyed. That's the stuff. All right, now for the final step, turn up the heat. Ready, don't hold anything back. Hold right. Keep going, keep going. Hotter to hell. <laughs> we have a fire extinguisher? Uh... Ah man, no wonder Papyrus sucks at cooking. <laughs> that just burned our whole house down. So what's next, scrapbooking, friendship bracelets? Oh, who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? I can't force you to like me, human. Some people just don't get along with each other. I understand if you feel the same way about me. And if we can't be friends, that's okay. I'll be friends with anyone who takes care of their friends, even when they're not doing that well. Because if we're not friends, it means I can destroy you without regret. What? I've been defeating my houses in shambles. I even failed to befriend you. That's it. I don't care if you're not my guest anymore. What is happening? One final rematch all out on both sides. Come at me with all you've got. Undyne is letting you take the first attack. Oh, I'm not going to do it. Fake attack. What? That's the best you can manage? Even attacking at full force. You can't muster any intent to hurt me, huh? <laughs> you know what? I don't actually want to hurt you either. At first, I hated your stupid saturine shtick. I don't know what that means. Hey Siri, what does saturine mean? Saturi, baby boy name meaning origin. What? Who names their kid that? That's a white person. You reminded me of someone I used to train with. Now I know you aren't just some wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart, just like him. Asgore! Listen, human, it seems that you and Asgore are fated to fight, but knowing him, he probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. Thank you. I know now how to beat Asgore? What? I'm sure that you can persuade him to let you go home. Eventually, some mean human will fall down here. And I'll take their soul instead. Oh, and if you do hurt Asgore, I'll take the human souls, cross the barrier, and beat the hell out of you. That's what friends are for, right? Uh, now let's get the hell out of this flaming house. Well, that was fun, huh? We'll have to hang out again another time. But somewhere else, I guess. In the meantime, I'll go hang with Papyrus. If you need me, drop by Snowden, okay? And if you ever need help, just give Papyrus a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk too. Well, see you later, punk. Oh, the house is crying. Is the house real? Bum, 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 bum. Okay, now I'm here. Oh, it's Alphys' place! I get to meet Alphys without being a total scumbag! Let's go! Alphys! 
I just dated your girlfriend. <laughs> I didn't expect you to show up so soon. I haven't showered. I'm barely dressed. It's all messy. And I wonder if the dialogue is going to be the same in Pacifist. I'm Dr. Alphys, Asgore's royal scientist. I know a way to write to Asgore's castle. No problem. Actually, uh, there's just a tiny issue. So long ago, I made a robot named Metaton. Originally, I built him to be an entertainment robot. I know you built this thing to be the hero of the story. Hopefully, we won't run into him. We're gonna run into him. I played this before. That's Metaton right there. Metaton! Welcome, beauties, to today's quiz show! Well, that was certainly something. Alpha's updated, just realized I didn't watch Undyne fight the human. I didn't kill him this time! Well, I know she's unbeatable. I'll ask her about it later. And you actually will ask her about it later. Let's go. Vulcan scrolls in. Uh, encourage. I don't want to hug a volcano. Its attacks become extreme. I still have no health, bro. Oh my god! When was the last time I saved? I refuse to speak. Haha! <laughs> have not been here before. Don't you dare fight me, you volcanic little dweeb. Nope. I can't flee it! This thing is a harbinger of death. Criticize. You tell him that its attacks are not helpful. Not. Now I hug it. You give it a hug and it warms your heart and your whole body, your defense drop. The balls. Ugh. Spare. Dude, I hate that thing. Another heal spot. Good. That thing murders! Soon dare plane! I'm gonna flirt with it. It has a powerful rudder. Huh, you sicko? Okay, it's dropping bombs! What the? Just running. And I'm gonna go heal again. <laughs> hey, it's kind of dark in there, isn't it? Don't worry, I'll hack into the system. This is Metaton's room, right? It's the cooking show, that's right. Preheat your ovens, because we've got a very special recipe for you today. Everyone give them a big hand. We'll need sugar, milk, and eggs. Go for it, sweetheart. Sugar, milk, eggs. The most important ingredient. A chainsaw! Couldn't you use a substitution? Isn't this the thing that, I, I, doesn't this shoot away, like it goes flying? Like it goes super, yeah, I remember. <laughs> this is a fun game. Are these Tostino's pizza rolls? This is marshmallow, stay fluff, chuff, fluff, fluff. Ain't it? See, bro, I'm the best. I baked the cake already, so we didn't even need it. How do they get a human soul? I don't know if I should be reading this. Uh, what was that? What was that? Something was there. We've like received an anonymous tip about a, a human wearing a striped shirt. Huh? What is it, bro? That shirt that they're wearing? Like, what about it? We like actually totally have to kill you and stuff? No, you don't. We can be friends. We can be friends. I'm gonna whisper. You tell RG1 to be honest with his feelings. Like, what? I don't get it. Team attack. Balls. Sweat pours from number two's armor. Okay, I'm gonna whisper to number two. You tell RG your favorite secret. Like, perish and stuff. I won't tell. Oh, oh, this is hard. Number one stands guard. Tell RGB to be honest with his feelings. I, I already did that one. I wasted a turn, I think. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Um, Astronaut food to heal. Okay, I can just stay in the middle for that. I'm gonna clean their armor now. Attempt to touch RG1's armor. Your hands slip off. Like, hands off. Now, let me clean number two's armor. The cooling dirt begins to wash away. Getting warmer. Do I just keep cleaning the armor? Oh, wait. Whoa! What was that? Armor too hot. It, it's sweating. Are the guards... <laughs> is this... Wait, is this what everybody meant by I killed the gays in my last one? Whisper. You tell RG to be honest with his feelings. Like, dude. I can't. I can't take this anymore. Not like this. Like, oh, too. I like... I like, like you, bro. <laughs> the way you fight, the way you talk, the massive pecs and six pack. That, was, that wasn't me talking. I love doing team attacks with you. I love standing here with you, bouncing and bouncing and waving. <laughs> I like, wanna stay like this forever, bro. Uh, I mean, uh, psych, gotcha, bro. Do you wanna... Get some ice cream, bro? <laughs> sure, bro. 
I didn't kill the gays. It's Pride Month. <laughs> oh, another Metaton show. MTT News. Brave correspondent, please find something newsworthy to report. Our 10 wonderful viewers are waiting for you. Oh, dude, he's a Twitch affiliate. Basketball is a blast, isn't it, darling? Too bad you can't play with these balls. Oh, my. It's a completely nondescript glass of water. But anything can make a great story with enough spin. The dog. What a sensational opportunity for a story. I can see the headline now. A dog exists somewhere. Frankly, I'm blown away. Report. Look at its little ears, tiny paws, fluffy tail. Wait a second. That's not a tail. That's a fuse. It's a bomb. Okay, I gotta do all this stuff fast, right? I'm a... Let's go. It seems the bomb isn't going off. That's because while you were monologuing, I deactivated the bomb with my hacking skills. <laughs> this is funny now knowing that Alphys is like the one running the, the show the whole time and Metaton is just acting. Okay, now I can go over this way. I think we're almost done. Welcome to our parlor, dearie. Interested in some spider pastries? Ooh, oh, I can buy more spider stuff. Buy a spider donut for 9999Gs. Well, I don't have that much. I can't afford those. I still have a spider thing from before. Metaton, it's time to do the do the do the do the do duel. Oh, balls. Okay, yeah, this is actually it. Oh, wait, what? This isn't Metaton fight? It's the spider lady. I forgot about her. They said a human wearing a striped shirt will come through. I heard that they hate spiders. I heard that they love to uh, stomp on them. Run, 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 run. All right, time to make a new friend because I have no enemies. They're awfully stingy with their money. I bought something this time though. Wait, come on. I remembered last time she got mad at me for not buying stuff, but I bought something from the spiders at the beginning. I thought just having it in my inventory would be enough. This is so dumb. Dumb. Do you have to farm 9999 gold in order to do this? Oh, don't fight, don't fight, don't fight. Yikes. Pay 10 gold? No, struggle. Muffet covers her mouth and giggles at you. Don't look so blue, my dearie. I think purple's a better look on you. Oh, I'm trapped in a strange purple web. You struggle to escape the web. Muffet laps at your, at your hands. Oh, God. No. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm throwing. I'm, I'm actually throwing. I'm not spending any money. I'm not spending any money. I literally spent money. I farmed at the beginning of the game to buy stuff for this moment. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my, oh, I'm. I gotta heal. I gotta heal. You know what? Screw you. I'm gonna eat the thing then. You drank the spider cider, your HP maxed out. Huh? Where'd you get that? Did you steal it? Oh, my pet. It's time to show them what we do to thieves. A telegram from the spiders in the ruins? They're saying that you saw you and you were really passionate about spiders and I bought it? Did I just accidentally stumble my way into this fight? I thought you were someone who hated spiders? The person who asked for that soul? They must have been a different human in a striped sir. Sorry for all the trouble, I'll make it up to you. You can come back here anytime for no charge at all. I'll wrap you up and let you play with my pet again. Just kidding, I'll spare you now. I just accidentally did that. Imagine I ate that cider. Oh my God, or didn't eat it. What if I use the astronaut? Metaton! Time to have our EX battle, isn't it? Oh, my true love, it is I, Metaton. Hurry up, come on. I'm, I'm trying to be friends. Oh my love, please run away. Wait, can I play this one? I'm so good at guitar. So sad that you're going to the dungeon. Well, toodles. Here come the flames, darling. They're closing in. Alphys, help me. Alphys, 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 Alphys. Any minute now. Is it, wait, it's waiting for Alphys. Hey, watch out, I'll save you. I'm hacking into the firewall right now. Oh no, how could this happen? Foiled again by the brilliant Dr. Alphys. Yeah, it's so obvious now looking back at it. That, uh, that Alphys was the one controlling this. That monster's me. You've defeated me. How can this be? You were stronger than I thought. Bye-bye. Looks like you beat him. You did a really great job out there. All thanks to you. Sands! Hey, I heard you're going to the core. How about grabbing some dinner with me? Sure. Let me tell you a story. So I'm a sentry in Snowden Forest, right? I sit out there and watch for humans. It's 
kind of boring. Deep in the forest, there's this huge locked door, and it's perfect for practicing knock-knock jokes. So one day, I'm knocking them out like usual. I knock on the door and say, knock-knock, <laughs> and suddenly from the other side, I hear a woman's voice. Who's there? So naturally, I respond, dishes. Dishes who? Dishes a very bad joke. And then she just howls with laughter, like it's the best joke she's heard in a hundred years. So I keep them coming, and she keeps laughing. And after a dozen of them, she knocks and says, Knock, knock. I say, who's there? Old lady. Old lady who? Yo, old lady who? Oh, I didn't know you can yodel. Wow. Needless to say, this woman was extremely good. <laughs> we kept telling each other jokes for hours. Eventually, I had to leave. Papyrus gets kind of cranky without his bedtime story. But she told me to come by again, and so I did. Then I did again, and again. It's a thing now, telling bad jokes through the door. That's Toriel! She told a bad joke! Oh my god, it rules! I didn't get that before! One day, though, I noticed she wasn't laughing very much. I asked her what was up, and she told me something strange. If a human ever comes through this door, could you please promise something? Watch over them and protect them, will you not? Someone who sincerely likes bad jokes has an integrity you can't say no to. I don't know if this is the same conversation as I had before, but it has a completely different meaning now. That promise I made to her. You know what would have happened if she hadn't said anything? Buddy, you'd be dead. Hey, but I'm friends with everyone now, Sans! Hey, lighten up, bucko. <laughs> I'm just joking with you. Well, that's all. Take care of yourself, kid, because someone really cares about you. Hey! Hey, I spared you before! He tells these awful puns. He's an embarrassment to his family. That's not funny. Since his mother passed on, he couldn't stand living at home anymore. So he ran away and I haven't seen him since. I'm a terrible father. That's not funny. Yeah, it wasn't funny. To the core. Oh my god, wait, is this it? I haven't fought Metaton EX yet. Oh! This might be it! Behind this door must be the elevator to the king's castle. Did I not have to fight Metaton? No, I for sure did. Metaton's up here. Yeah, here's the Metaton. Oh, yes. There you are, darling. It's your time to have our little showdown. Now I gotta learn how to burn. This is probably what you'll do if things continue in this matter. Wait, I'm yellow. I can shoot, can I? Don't you understand what acting is? Oh. Um, maybe I spare. I've seen you fight. You're weak. If you continue forward, Asgore will take your soul. And with your soul, Asgore will destroy humanity. Okay, now I just gotta... Wow. Oh, I can shoot those. Glit. Glamour is finally all you'll have. Hey, Alphys. So I can't see what's going on in there, but don't give up, okay? If you can turn him around and press the switch, he'll be vulnerable. Uh, turn. Tell Metaton that there's a mirror behind him. Oh, a mirror? Right. I have to look perfect for the grand finale. Where is it? Switch. That's right. Oh my. If you flip my switch, that can only mean one thing. You're desperate for the premiere of my new body. How rude. Lucky for you, I've been aching to show this off for a long time. So as a thanks, I'll give you a handsome reward. 200 Gs! Pose! Dramatic plus 100. The audience nods. Lights. Camera. Action! Oh my god, what just happened? I, I don't like this. Oh, it's time for a pop quiz. I hope you brought a keyboard. This one's an essay question. Uh, what do you like most about uh, Metaton? Uh, the drama. Metaton is awesome and strikes poses that inspire power. <laughs> okay. I can shoot only one and then the rest I just got to dodge. Yeah, yeah. So shoot one, dodge it, dodge the rest. I can't spare yet. I'm going to I'm going to boast. You say you say you aren't going to get hit, hit at all. Ratings increase this turn. Okay. Oh, I actually didn't get hit at all. I actually didn't get hit at all. Ratings gradually increase during Metaton's turn. But how are you on the dance floor? Do 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 do. Boom 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 boom. boom. What? How what was that? That was that was lame. That was lame as balls. Oh, Starfay? When did I get this? They love the brand. Oh, okay. Bombs. I, I, I don't quite know. Got it. Metaton. Uh, let's boast again. Break time. Yeah. Sheesh. Can I run yet? Nope. I think I need more ratings. So if I don't hit, get hit at all during boast, I raise the ratings up. Oh, balls. I did, though. Metaton? 
Oh, it's falling apart. It's falling apart. I'm gonna try and spare it. Who needs arms with legs like these? True, but I'm still gonna win. Oh, balls. What? Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't reverse. It didn't reverse. Nice. Can I spare yet? No. Pose. I lost ratings. It's fine. Drama. Action. I think if I just dodge these, I think shooting is bait. Pose again. The audience nods. Lights, camera. Enough of this. Do you really want humanity to perish? No. I want to be friends. Is it too bad to be friends? Well, darling, it's either me or you, but I think we both already know who's going to win. Witness the true power of humanity's star. Nice. Can I heal? Metaton. I don't think I can spare. I'm gonna, I'm gonna heal. I'm gonna heal. I'm gonna eat the parfait. On brand food. They like that. Then, are you the star? Can you really protect humanity? Yes! What the? You got laser beams? Okay, static shock. Oh my god. I get, I get so clammy whenever the fights happen that I'm afraid to say anything. Spare. Oh no. Oh no. I want health. I want health. I want health. I want health. Oh, I can't eat the snow piece. I can't do it. Let me spare you, Metaton! I need to eat again. I need to eat again. I need to eat again. I need to eat. I need to eat so badly. Oh my god, I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna lose. Unicycle. I'm gonna pose. I guess we have to get to 999 ratings. Okay, I dodged so many this time, though. Pose dramatically. They nod. We're almost at 999. Okay. Left, left, right, back left. I remember. Pose. 10,000 ratings. I think that's it. Oh, look at the ratings. Did I do it? This is the most viewers I've ever had. We've reached the viewer call in milestone. One lucky viewer will have the chance to talk to me before I leave this underground forever. Let's see who calls in first. Oh, hi, Metaton. I really liked watching your show. My life is pretty boring, but seeing you on the screen brought excitement to my life vicariously. I can't tell, but I guess this is the last episode. I'll miss you, Metaton. Oh, I didn't mean to talk so long. No, wait, wait, blah, how? They're already hung up. I'll take another caller. Metaton, your show made us so happy. Metaton, I don't know what I'll watch without you. Metaton, there's a metaton shaped hole in my metaton shaped heart. Darling, perhaps it might be better if I stay here for a while. Humans already have stars and idols, but monsters, they only have me. And everyone, thank you. You've been a great audience. Did I pacifist that? Whoa, metaton looks different. I managed to open the lock. Are you two? You were still here! Metaton. Are you alive still? Thank God, it's just the batteries. If you would have gone, I would have, I mean, hey, it's no problem, you know? It's just a robot. If you mess it up, I could always just build another. Oh my God, I am filled with determination. I was just gonna uh, say goodbye and I can't take this anymore. I lied to you. A human soul isn't strong enough to cross the barrier alone. It takes at least a human soul and a monster soul. I'll have to kill Asgore. I'm not gonna do that though. So we're gonna have to find another way. Oh, is this it? Oh no, oh man, oh, I'm scared. Oh, isn't Sans here? Yeah, Sans, help me out. Give me like a power boost. The end of your journey is at hand. Now you'll be judged. You'll be judged for every action. You'll be judged for every EXP you've earned. When you kill someone, your EXP increases. When you have enough EXP, your love increases. Love too is an acronym. It stands for level of violence. But you you, you never gained any love. Of course, that doesn't mean you're completely innocent or naive, just that you kept a certain tenderness in your heart. No matter the struggles or hardships you faced, you strived to do the right thing. We're all counting on you, kid. Good luck. That was cool. Asgore, I'm here to make you my friend too. I have no enemies. Hopefully this is not harder than killing it. You know what we must do. When you're ready, come into the next room. You are not prepared for the amount of mercy I'm about to show you. You destroyed the mercy button last time. I have like 20 health and that's it. Okay, how do we do this one? Do I just talk him to death? Do I just spam spare? Goodbye. Destroy the fight button. No. Wait, wait, how do I passive? How do I pacifist this? Do I have to fight? This feels wrong. This feels wrong. The mercy button's not there though. What am I supposed to freaking do? Oh, it's one HP. Please, young one, this war has gone on long enough. You have the power. Take my soul. I don't want to kill. The mercy came back. After everything I've done to hurt you, you would rather stay down here and suffer than live happily on the surface? For as long as you remain here, my wife and I will take care of you the best we can. We can sit in the living room telling stories, eating butterscotch pie. Oh. You ugly flower! I was hoping that you didn't come here because- oh, You idiot! I'm gonna play lawnmower noises in the background. 
How do you like that, Flowey? I'm gonna make you bald. It's kill or be killed. I'm playing the no kill mode. Do I gotta fight Flowey again? Was that the last heart? It was! Come on, Flowey. I don't wanna kill you, Flowey. I have no enemies. You can be my friend too. Even though you're a dumb idiot, I'm gonna murder the absolute shit out of you if I get to in another game. Fight! Fight! Did I kill Flowey or is there a pacifist mode? Do you really think I've learned anything from this? Yep, sparing me won't change anything. Killing me is the only way to end this. No, it's not. I'm sure there's a way. The rule was nothing dies. I'll kill everyone you love. He's frowning. Why? Why are you being so nice to me? Cry, bitch. Sorry. I can't understand. I just can't understand. Flowey ran away. That can't just be it. That's the pacifist ending? Ring, ring. Oh, is it Torio? Hey, yeah. Uh, is anyone there? Well, just call in to say you made a snowman really happy. <gasps> yes! <laughs> I forgot! Wow. Fuck you! <laughs> Why? Why did you let me go? Don't you realize that being nice just makes you get hurt? Look at yourself. You made all these great friends, but now you'll probably never see them again. Not to mention how they've been set back by you. Hurts, doesn't it? Nope. I have no enemies. If you have just gone through without caring about anyone, you wouldn't have to feel bad now. So I don't get it. You really did everything right away. Why did things still end up like this? Why is life really that unfair? Say, what if I told you I knew some way to get you a better ending? You'll have to load your save file. What? She's got the key to my happiness. Reload save file and go see Alphys? So I just walk back to Alphys's place? This is so weird. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. Oh, what? Hey, uh, this is Undyne. Shut up, happy rest. This is your idea. Human, you have to deliver something for me. I'm at Snowden in front of Papyrus's. So do I go there? Okay, down here. Is this where the, the mystery romance is? It is! Can you take me to Snowden? Oh my god. I I thought I was gonna have to walk the whole way. Dang, this boat's kind of schmoovin'. That's what these places were. Oh my god. Uh, so I have a favor to ask you. Uh, I need you to deliver this letter to Dr. Alphys. Why don't I do it myself? They're making the uwu face. It's kind of personal, but we're friends. So I'll to tell you, Hotland sucks. And I don't want to have to go over there. So here you go. You got Undyne's letter. And if you read it, I'll kill you. Now I think I can just take this to Waterfall and then go from Waterfall. Oh, I can just go to Hotland? Wait, the boat's a, it's a cat. No, it's a dog. It's a dog cat. It's cat dog. Where's the, is the laboratory to the right? It is. Slide the letter under. You slide the letter under the door and give it a knock. Alphys, hey, if this is a joke, it's a, uh... oh my God. Did you write this letter? It wasn't signed. No, it was undyne. Oh my God. Oh no. That's adorable. And I had no idea you um wrote that way. <laughs> it's surprising too. After all the gross stuff I did. Gross stuff. I don't really deserve to be forgiven. And so passionately too? Let's go on a date. No, no, no! That was on on a date again? Dating start? Uh, sorry. I'm still getting dressed. Hey, wait. Actually, we still can't start the date yet. Uh... I've got to give you items to raise your affection statistic first. It'll increase the outcome, right? That's, that's that, what you do in Hoonie Pop. Is it making me play Hoonie Pop right now in Undertale? Metal armor polish. That's for Undyne, the person who wrote the letter. Waterproof cream for your scales. Also for Undyne. Magical spear repair kit. Hmm, this sounds like freaking Undyne. Let's just start the date. I don't want to date you. I got it. Let's go to the garbage dump. This is where Undyne and I come all all the time. Oh no, that's her over here. I can't let her see me on a date with you. Why? Because, uh, oh no, here she comes. Oh, Undyne's just, hey, there you are. I realize if you deliver that thing, it might be a bad idea. So I'm gonna do it. Give it to me. You don't have it? Have you at least seen her? Yes, right there, behind the trash can. I'm snitching. So she's somewhere around here? Thanks, I'll keep looking. I really like her. 
more than I like other people. I'm sorry. I just figured, you know, it'd be fun to go on a cute kind of pretend date with you to make me feel better. Undyne's the person I really want to go on a date with, but I mean, she's way out of my league. Is this the pacifist ending? If she gets me close to me, she'll find out the truth about me. What should I do? Tell her the truth. I'm going to mess it up. How can I practice? I don't want to role play it. I'll be Undyne. Hi Undyne, how are you doing today? I clicked the button and I wasn't reading. Glad to hear it. I look gently into her eyes and start hollering. Oh, Undyne, I love you. Kiss me again, Undyne. What did you just say? Yes, saved. We were only romantically role playing as you. Undyne, I've been lying to you about, well, everything. I told you seaweed was scientifically important. Really, I just needed to make ice cream. And those human books, uh, dorky comic books, you're typing too fast, I can't read that fast. And the history movies, those, those are just, uh, anime. They are real. I can't get the breath in time. Stop typing too fast. I told you I was busy on the work. I'm going to be in my pajamas, outfits. <sighs> I just wanted to impress you. I just wanted to think that I was smart and cool and I wasn't some nerdy loser. I really think you're neat. Aww. She picked her up and threw her in the trash can as a three-pointer. Alphys, I think you're neat too, I guess. But you've got to realize most of what you said really doesn't matter to me. Then why'd you just LeBron James are into the trash can? To me, all that nerdy st that stuff is just nerdy crap. What I like about you is you're passionate and analytical. Doesn't matter what you care about, 100% at maximum power. So you don't have to lie to me. And I don't want you to have to lie to anyone anymore. Alphys, I want you to become who happy with who you are on Dine. You're gonna train me? I'm gonna get Pappy Russ to do it. Oh my God, she was kidding, right? Those cartoons and comics, those are real. Anime is real, right? Anime is not real. <laughs> I can feel my heart breaking into pieces. No, I can survive this. I have to be strong for Alphys. I'll try my best to live in this world and see you later. What is going on? Howdy, if it isn't my good friend who trusts me. This is Pappy Russ, also your mutual friend. Alphys and I finished our training early. Very early. So I sent her home. Very home. Feel strongly and for no apparent reason that you should go there to her lab house. Why do you say it like that? That was weird. I'm here, Alphys. They're still watching me. Oh, it's a note from Alphys. Read it? Yeah, why not? It's hard to read because of the handwriting, but you try your best. Hey, thanks for your help back there. You guys, your support really means a lot to me, but as difficult as it is to say this, you guys alone can't magically make my own problems go away. I want to be a better person. I don't want to be afraid anymore. And for that to happen, I have to be able to face my own mistakes. I'm going to start doing that now. I want to be clear that this isn't anyone else's problem but mine. If you don't ever hear from me again, if you want to know the truth, enter the door to the north of this note. You'll all at least deserve to know what I did. What? Oh, it's an elevator. Wasn't this the bathroom? Why does she have an elevator in her bathroom? Elevator losing power. EM tether stability lost. Altitude dropping. Oh, oh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Sorry, I went to that in Disneyland. I'm dead. I survived. Whoa, what is this? Entry number one, this is it. Time to do what the king has asked me to do. I'll create the power to free us all. I'll unleash the power of the soul. Entry number two, the barrier is locked by soul power. Unfortunately, this power cannot be recreated artificially. It can only be derived from what was once living. So to create more, we will have to use what we have now. The souls of monsters? Entry number three, but extracting a soul from a living monster would require incredible power. Besides being impractical, doing so would instantly destroy the soul's host. And unlike the persistent souls of humans, the souls of monsters disappear immediately upon death. If only I could make a monster soul last. What was she doing? I've done it. Using the blueprints, I've extracted it from the human souls. I believe this would give their souls the strength to persist after death, the will to keep living, determination. What the? There's a note on the ground. You can make it all out. Elevator lost power. Enter the center door. Asgore asked everyone outside the city for monsters that had fallen down. Their bodies came in today. They're still comatose and soon they'll all turn into dust. But what happens if I inject determination? into them. If their souls persist after they perish, then freedom might be closer than we all thought. This is a like a lab room. Entry number nine. What happened to seven and eight? None of the bodies have turned into dust. What? There's a note on the ground. You can make it, you can't make it all out. Drain dropped it. That's all you could read. Some kind of switch with a red colored slot. Oh, drain. Turn on the sink. Whoa, what? That's a ghost. Huh? Oh my god, what is this? Blank drew near? 
I can't run. You take out your cell phone. You can hear voices through the receiver. Come join the fun. No, 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 no. Oh, I, I, I've got a fight still? What? I'm gonna join the fun. You'll be with us soon. That's creepy. Refuse. I can spare them. Whoa, what? There's a red key lying in the sink? Okay, it's on my keychain. Let's go do whatever the switch is. The key fit perfectly into the slot. Now what? That's the door, I think. The door had four colors, though, so there might be four things for me to do. So what do I go over here? Oh, spooky. Nothing's happening. I don't know what to do. I'll just keep injecting everything with determination. I want this to work. What did Alphys do? One of the bodies opened its eyes. Alphys is making zombies? What? Everyone that had fallen down has woken up. They're all walking and talking like nothing's wrong. I thought they were goners. Entry number 15. Seems like the research was a dead end, but at least we got a happy ending out of it. I sent the souls back to Asgur, returned the vessel to his garden, and I called all of the families and told them everyone's alive. I'll send everyone back tomorrow. No, 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 no. What? Hey, grab the green key, and there's no monster there. Oh, there really is no monster there. What? What is that thing? That was a fake star! You're joking me! It smells like sweet lemons. Hum. Welcome to my special hell. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the? What the? What is this? Do I cry? You cried as loud as you could, but nobody came. How do I dodge that? Oh my god. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die to this. I'm gonna die to this. Uh, unhug. You let lemon bread be, it's teeth shake. I can't get to that one. Okay. Which one I have not done? I haven't done flex. Lemon bread seems to remember something. I felt this before. Could this be goodbye? Oh, oh, wait. I can spare. That was a fake save point. I don't have the yellow key, do I? Under sheets. So we gotta look for bed. Oh my God, there's another enemy, isn't there? What are you? Wait, are these all the things that came back to life? Amalgamate. Uh, you call the amalgamate. It bounds towards you, flexing a strange liquid. Oh, this is like that the dog where I have to bring it towards me and then pet it. So now I pet it, right? You pet it and it convulses rapidly, then calms down and rests on my lap. Suddenly, it shoots away and crawls wildly on the walls. Uh-oh, what the heck? What? What if I play with it? Threw my weapon in the corner of the room and it brings it back. Now it's tired. Okay, you wanna be pet again? I'll pet you, I'll pet you, I'll pet you, I'll pet you. Stop doing that. Hey, we can be friends. We can pet, 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 we can pet. Freaking weirdo. Why am I, do I have to, can I kill these things? Or do I have to, I'm, I'm guessing I have to stay pacifist. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, I did it. This is weird. Okay, so now are we gonna find out what Alphas did? Entry number 19. Families keep calling me to ask when everyone's coming home. I don't even answer the phone anymore. Asgore left me five messages today. Four about everyone being angry. One about this cute teacup. Thanks, Asgore. I spend all my time at the garbage dump now. It's my element. Oh my god. Another thing? It's so cold. Wait, that looks like that guy from the restaurant. Oh my god. It's Kid. Joke. What? A joke again. She's completely calmed down. You won. There were beds down here. Yeah, here's the yellow. Maybe not? Something under the sheets. Yes, that's the yellow key. Over here is probably where I put the blue key. We'll need a vessel to wield the, sh the souls. That's something neither human nor monster. Experiments on the vessel are a failure. Doesn't seem any control cases. Oh, it's a shift. What the heck? Clean? Oh, is it the soap monster? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? I don't... I don't know what I'm supposed to say. This is really creepy. Hum? I don't remember this fight if I'm supposed to. I don't... I don't remember this one. Pick on. That's the only one I didn't do. Someone courage? Oh, I should have done that first bet. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Oh, oh, I can go, I can go, I can go. There's the key. Okay, I think I have all of the keys. Last key, there you go. I'm guessing all these monsters are what Alpha's created by putting the determination in their souls, but it seems like she's talking about some big monster. 
It seems like this controls the elevator's power. Turn it on. Whoa, 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 whoa. I can't move, I'm trying to move. Hey, stop. I got you guys some food, okay? Sorry about that. They get kind of sassy when they don't get fed on time. I think they smelled the potato chips you had and power went out and I've been trying to turn it back on. But it seems like you were the one step ahead of me. This was probably just a big inconvenience for you, but I appreciate that you came here to back me up. As I said, I was afraid I might not come back, but that's not because these guys are anything. I was worried I'd be too afraid to tell the truth, that I might run away or do something cowardly. I suppose I owe you an explanation. As you probably know, Asgore asked me to study the nature of souls. During my research, I isolated a power called determination and it injected it into dying monsters so their souls would last after death. But the experiment failed. Unlike humans, monsters' bodies don't have enough physical matter to take those concentrations of determination. They started to melt and lost the physicality. Pretty soon, all the test subjects had melted together into those. Seeing them like this, I knew I couldn't tell their families about it. I couldn't tell anyone about it. No matter how much everyone was asking me, and I was too afraid to do any more work, knowing everything I'd done so far had been a horrific failure. I've changed my mind about all this. I'm going to tell everyone what I've done. It's going to be hard. Being honest, believing in myself. I mean, Alphys didn't know, right? And they were already gone. Come on, guys. Don't take them home. Am I just... I've chosen a candidate. I haven't told Asgore yet because I wanted to surprise him with it. In the center of his garden, there's something special. The first golden flower that grew before all the others. The flower from the outside world. It appeared just before the queen left. I wonder what happens when something without a soul gains the will to live. The flower is gone. It's a voice you've never heard before. Purple, are you there? It's been a long time, but you've done well. Thanks to you, everything has fallen into place. See you soon. What the? Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, what's going on? The door slammed shut with vines. Oh, Asgore's still here? Do I gotta fight Asgore? Human, it was nice. Hey, it was nice. I already met you, bro. I gotta back out. What a miserable creature torturing a... What? A pure or poor innocent youth? Watch your murk her husband. Don't be afraid, my child. It's I, Toriel, your friend and guardian. At first, I thought I would let you make your journey alone, but I couldn't stop worrying about you. Your adventure must have been so treacherous. And ultimately, it would burden you with a horrible choice. To leave this place, you would have to take the life of another person. You would have to defeat Asgore. Wait, 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 what? However, I realize I can't allow that. It's not right to sacrifice someone simply to let someone leave here. Tori, you came back. Don't Tori me, dreamer. You pathetic whelp. Oh, shoot. If you really wanted to free our kind, how could you have gone through the barrier after you got one soul? Taken six souls from the humans that came back and freed everyone peacefully. But instead, you make it made everyone live in despair because you would rather wait here, merely hoping another human never comes. So he killed six kids. Whoa, Undyne. Nobody fight each other. Everyone's gonna make friends or else I'll, I'll. Hello, I'm Toriel. Are you the human's friend? It's nice to meet you. Uh, yeah, nice to meet you. Hey, Asgore, is that your ex? <laughs> Jeez, that's rough, buddy. Hey, Alphys, you created Flowey. I don't like you no more. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. I have no enemies. I'm Toriel, hello. Hi, there's two of them. Hey, Papyrus, everyone's here. Did Asgore shave and clone himself? Hey guys, what's up? That voice. Oh, she knows Sans? The puns. I think we may know each other. Hey, I recognize your voice too. I'm Toriel. So nice to meet you. The name's Sans. And, uh, same. This must be your brother, Papyrus. It's gonna be okay. There's plenty of fish in the sea. Undyne's totally right about that fish thing. Sometimes you just gotta stop going after furry boss monsters and just get to know a really cute fish. It's a metaphor. Well, I think it's a good analogy. That is Metaton's leg. Will you two just smooch already? The audience is dying for some romantic action. Man, the nerve of that guy, right? Uh, kiss, 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 kiss. That's, I don't like how they're moving their necks. Wait, not in front of the human. <laughs> My child, it seems as if you must stay here for a while. But looking at all the great friends you've made, I think you'll be happy here. Oh, is this the true ending? You called everyone here, right? Well, besides her. Anyway, I got here before you. How did you know to call everyone? A tiny flout? No.
what? You idiots. While you guys were having your little powwow, I took the human souls. And now not only are those under my power, but all your friends' souls are gonna be mine too. Don't tell me I've gotta fly foul flowy again. You know what the best part is? It's all your fault because you made them love you. All the time you spent listening to them, encouraging them, caring about them without that, they wouldn't have come here. And now their souls and the humans together, I will achieve my real form. Why am I still doing this? Don't you get it? This is all just a game. If you leave the underground satisfied, you'll win the game. If you win, you won't want to play with me anymore. And what would I do then? But this game between us will never end. I hold victory in front of you. If you do defeat me, I'll give you your happy ending and I'll bring your friends back. I've got to fight Flowey one last time. I can do that. Wait, I'm in a box though. You cheating little mother bitch. Even if it means killing you a million times. Dad, what was the whole point of this? Someone stop it. Someone stop it. Put your hand in. Boom. Toria, let's go. Do not be afraid, my child. No matter what happens, I will always be there to protect you. Yo, yo, that was Pappy Russ's bone and the spear. Save me. Uh, Sans, aren't you like super strong? Technically, it's impossible for to beat you, but somehow I know you can do it. Human for the future of humans and monsters. You have to stay determined. We're here to help you. They're all here. My health's full again. No, unbelievable. This can't be happening. You. I can't believe you're all so stupid. All of your souls are mine. Don't tell me that all of these people showing up made Flowey stronger. Young Toriel? Is this their kid? Their kid died though. Wait, wait, wait. Their kid died. Did Alphys bring the kid back? Flowey was their kid's soul. Howdy, Purple. Are you there? It's me, your best friend. Flowey was Toriel's kid this whole time? What is happening? What? Um, hope? You held on to your hopes. You reduced how much damage you'll take this turn. Whoa, 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 okay. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I'm dodging, I'm actually dodging really well. Okay, maybe not. Um, shocker breaker. Dream? You think about, oh, I healed. I healed. You can feel the empty space in your inventory get smaller and smaller. You know, I don't care about destroying this world anymore. What? What is this fight? Oh, I'm back. But it refused. Hope. Took no damage. Spare. Oh, I should have hoped it reduces damage. I'm an idiot. Okay. So now I gotta, I gotta heal, I guess. Wait, do I have any items? What's our, what are last dreams? Oh, I healed all the way, what? Oh, I dodged. That was a giant Omega laser, what? I'm gonna hope. They're losing me again, what's this? Okay, I know this one. Dodged. Okay. Um. Use one of those. And again. Dodge Omega Laser. Okay. Now I I hope damage reduced and I gain one HP. took damage from that I'm gonna hope one more time I think I can I think I can survive 
Just because you want a happy ending. What's this one? The stars! Focus, focus, Jack. Focus, focus, focus. You can win this off of pure determination. Right now. 3 HP. Doesn't freaking matter. Whatever this last stream is that heals me. I'm keeping the snow piece. The snowman's making it to the real end. Swords again. Bring it on. Stay in the middle. Dodge. Did it. 10 HP. Still good. Hope. Kept holding on. Damage reduced. Because you never give up. Dodge. Did it. Oh. Oh, there's more. I gotta heal again. I don't know what these last dreams are, but I have unlimited of them, it feels. Isn't that delicious? Your determination, the power that let you get this far, is gonna be your downfall. This one's easy. Okay, I took five damage. That's it, though. That's fine. Uh, hope. Damage reduction is better than healing, I think. Now, enough messing around. It's time to purge this timeline once and for all. What is this? What is this? It looks like Flowey's weird head. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Everything's white. I'm at one HP. What the hell? Even after that attack, you're still standing in my way? Wow, you really are something special. But don't get cocky. Up until now, I've only been using a fraction of my real power. Let's see what your good, your determination is against this. I have one HP. I can't heal. It won't let me. Can't move your body. Behold my true power. What? What? I have one HP! This is a checkpoint. Okay. Every time you die, your grip on this world slips away. Every time you die, your friends forget you a little more. Your life will end here in a world. I'm gonna have to... Oh, I have full HP again, though. That's fine. You can't move your body. Still, you're hanging on. That's fine. In a few moments, you'll forget everything, too. That attitude will serve you well in your next life. move my body still come on show me what good your determination is now oh my god oh my god this is so hard nothing happened you tried to reach your save file nothing happened you tried again to reach your save file nothing happened seems saving the game really is impossible but maybe with what little power you have you can save something else save Save Sands. Save Sands. Save Sands. Sands is strong. You reached out to Azrael's soul and called out to your friends. They're in there somewhere, aren't they? Within the depths of Azrael's soul, something resonated. The lost souls appeared. Okay. No, I wasn't supposed to fight them. I didn't mean to fight. I did not mean to fight. You guys know that I didn't mean to. Act. Joke. A bad pun. No, no, no. That I should have. The others. Okay, I should have puzzled him. I can't believe I tried fighting. Recipe. Cook something for me. Yes. Bro. I'm gonna joke. Told a joke. Suddenly the memories are flooding back. Yes! They're back! I'm rooting for you, kid! I brought Sans back! Save Undyne and Alphys. Yes! I know everything about my friends. Undyne. I don't wanna fight you. I want a fake hit. Something about the way you fight's familiar to her.
What else? Recipe. She doesn't know why, but she kind of wants to teach you how. Time to smile. Leave the lost soul a big smile like you remember she likes to do. Suddenly the memories are flooding back. We got Undyne. Okay. Outfits next. Within the depths of Ezreal. Alphys. I don't like how it puts it on fight. Uh, nerd out. What her favorite cartoon is. They can barely hold back from giving me an answer. You hate me, don't you? Nope. Listen, if you made Flowey, you didn't make something evil. Azrael was just evil. I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call. She starts to sweat. She doesn't know why. But this seems all very familiar. It's like I'm fighting all the bosses again. This is so cool. Quiz. Suddenly memories are flooding back. We've got Alphys. Asgore. And Toriel. I'm gonna hug. Seems like his aggression is slowly melting away. Hug. Something about this is so familiar to her. No one will ever leave again. Mercy. I refuse to fight. Something about this is so familiar to her. Come on. Almost made that one. Almost made that. I'm going to mercy As Asgore now. I'm going to mercy Asgore now. Suddenly the memories are flooding back. I got them all. Now what? Can we all fight Asriel together? You feel your friends resonating with them. Someone else? Strangely, as your friends remembered you... Something else began resonating within their soul. Stronger and stronger. It seems there's still one last person that needs to be saved. Monster Kid? Who? You realize you reach out and call their name. What are you doing? That's me. That's Toriel. That's not me. That's a baby tort. That's Azrael. This is the human that fell down in the intro? It wasn't me? That's the kid! That's the first kid! You feel your friends resonating souls within Azrael. Save Azrael Dreamer. What did you do? What's this feeling? What's happening to me? No, I don't need anyone. Save. I have no enemies. Purple, do you know why I'm doing this? Why I keep fighting to keep you around? Why? I'm doing this because you're special, Purple. You're the only one who understands me. You're the only one who's any fun to play with. Jesus. Oh my god. Dude, this music. It's the music. It's the, it's the music, dude. No, that's not just it. I'm doing this because I care about you, Purple. I care about you more than anyone else. I'm not ready for this to end. I'm not ready for you to leave. I'm not ready to say goodbye to someone like you again. I remind Azrael of the kid that died. 
So please stop doing this and just let me win. Save. Purple. I'm so alone, purple. Save. I'm so afraid. Save. I. Whoa. I'm so sorry. I always was a crybaby, wasn't I, purple? I know. You're not actually purple, are you? Purple's been gone for a long time. What is your name? Frisk? That's a nice name. Frisk. I haven't felt like this for a long time. As a flower, I was soulless. I lacked the power to love other people. However, with everyone's souls inside me, I not only have my own compassion back, but I can feel every other monster's as well. They all care about each other so much, and they care about you too, Frisk. I wish I could tell you how everyone feels about you. Papyrus, Sans, Undyne, Alphys, Toriel. Monsters are weird. Even though they barely know you, it feels like they all really love you. So have I been going by the wrong name, or is Frisk the name of the first kid? Frisk, I understand if you can't forgive me. I understand if you hate me. I acted so strange and horrible, I hurt you. I hurt so many people, friends, family, bystanders. There's no excuse for what I've done. Forgive. I can't keep these souls inside me. The least I can do is return them, but first, there's something I have to do. Right now, I can feel everyone's hearts beating as one. They're all burning with the same desire, with everyone's power, with everyone's determination. It's time for monsters to finally go free. Whoa, what? Why, why did this go from emotional to turning into Ultra Instinct Super Saiyan? Whoa. Whoa. What? The barrier was destroyed. Frisk, I have to go now. Without the power of everyone's souls, I can't keep maintaining this form. In a little while, I'll turn back into a flower. I'll stop being myself. I'll stop being able to feel love again. So Frisk, it's best if you forget about me, okay? Just go be with the people who love you. Comfort him. Aww. Wow. Oh my god. I don't want to let go. Oh my god, dude. You're going to do a great job, okay? No matter what you do, everyone will be there for you. My time's running out. Goodbye. Take care of mom and dad for me? Oh no. Frisk. This is all just a bad dream. Please wake up. My name's not Purple. That was the name of the first kid. Why did I... I guess I wasn't telling people my name. It felt like you were out forever. Tell us next time you decide to take a nap, okay? You made Papyrus cry like a baby. I don't cry, I just got something in my eye. Now, now, the important part is that Frisk is all right. Here, Frisk, why not drink some tea? It'll make you feel better. How about we give him space first? They must be very exhausted, though, from what I am not certain. Frisk, we don't remember exactly what happened. There was a flower, and then everything went white. But now the barrier's gone. When you're ready, we'll all return to the surface. If you leave here, your adventure will really be over. Your friends will follow you out of the underground. I'm ready. Oh, there's more. They're out of the underground. They get to see the sunset. Oh my. Isn't it beautiful, everyone? It's even better than on TV. Way better. Better than I ever imagined. The sunlight's so nice and the air's so fresh. I feel alive. Hey, Sans! What's that giant ball? We call that the sun, my friend. I can't believe I'm finally meeting the sun. This is the beginning of a new bright future. An era of peace. Frisk, I have something to ask of you. Will you act as an ambassador? Yeah. It seems everyone's quite eager to set off. Can I have one last hug, please? You came from this world, right? So you must have a place to return to, do you not? What will you do now? I want to stay with you. God damn it, bro. <sighs> if you really do not have any other place to go, I'll do my best to take care of you. Oh my God. That was really good. Thanks for watching.
Bye-bye.